Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me again today. So for today's video is going to be my first video for a January wrap up. Without further ado, let's get on with it. So I managed to read four books this month. Although with assignments around the corner, I really need to hustle. But I still managed to do some pleasure reading or leisure reading. So I'll talk about them right now. The first one is My New Crush Gave to Me and it's by Shani Petrov. And this is it right here. This is a teen book and it's a really nice Christmassy read. It's got a lot of cute romantic scenes in it. And the story centers around Charlie Donovan. And she's single at the moment and she's after the heart of Theo Ortiz, who's a very popular guy at school and a star athlete. And along the way, she enlists the help of his cousin JD. A lot of things happen. At first, Charlie and JD hated each other. They didn't get along well. They keep butting heads and clashing. But along the way, as she, as she started to spend more time with him, her feelings start to change toward JD. And she starts to question whether she really likes Teal or JD. I really like this because this is very heartwarming. It's, the really, it's a really perfect Christmas read. And I really enjoyed it reading during the holidays. It went by smoothly and... I read it from start, middle to finish, like in a hurry. It only probably took me around two sittings to finish this book, and I highly recommend it. Although the story is a little bit too predictable, like you can already tell like by around early in the book what's gonna happen, it's still fun to read. The main character is a little bit too controlling sometimes, and sometimes it may it puts you off as the reader. However, it makes up for it for the other character developments in the story. I really like her friendship with her best friend. I think it's written so well and it captured it very realistically. I like the way that they support each other and, ha and have each other's backs. And what I really like about this book is that it includes a lot of Christmas traditions like Hanukkah and Christ Christian themed celebrations for Christmas because in reality, a lot of teens also celebrate the religious side of Christmas, and I like it how it was included in this book, and along with the traditions and customs of it. Overall, I highly recommend this book. I will give this a 5 star out of 5, because I just really like it so much. So, if you haven't read this, please pick up a copy. The next three books are from R.L. Stein, and these, this is what they are. I'll start with the first one. This is a Give Me a K-I-L-L. -L. And this is one of the new books by the Reboot series. And it centers around Gretchen Page, who just moved into a high, shady side high school. And she's trying to compete for the last spot in the cheerleading team. And along the way, she felt like her main rival, which is Devra, is backstabbing her and trying to set her up for failure. To be honest, this is just an average read. I wasn't really much into it. The main character is, um, I found very juvenile and annoying. The characters weren't developed properly or very thoroughly. I didn't have a main connection with a character and I found her very spoiled and bratty throughout the whole book. Again, this is also a little bit too predictable. I can already tell how the story is gonna end. There were some creepy scenes in it but nothing very very scary. This is just an average read. I would rate it a 3 star out of 5. So the next two books are Betrayal and Curse. And this is, honestly, this is more a nostalgic read for me. Because I've read these books um, when I was in high school a long time ago. And in The Betrayal, it's got The Betrayal, The Secret, and The Burning. So three books in one. And this one, and the cursed one has A New Fear, House of Whispers, and Forbidden Secrets. I like, I enjoy this book a lot better than the other book of R.L. Stein. The pages went by so fast, like although it is a very thick book, it's an easy read. And I, was, I was able to get through them in a couple of days for each book. It didn't take that long. It's got a lot of eerie and creepy scenes in it, and it's got a lot of the old school Fear Street stories. So if you like the old school ones, you will definitely like these books. It's not written to be um, thought-provoking. I found this a very light read, to be honest. The main characters are interesting but nothing too memorable like a lot a lot of the stories just whiz by in in a hurry if you like the old school fear street then please take a look at this this is a lot more interesting than the new ones i think 
and it captures the writing style of R.L. Stein so well. I would give these books a 5 star out of 5. That is it for my January wrap up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!